I got a comment from Pumpkin asking me to look at movies getting misnamed, and the subsequent replies suggested this might be a good idea. We had The Revenant referred to as the Bear Movie, and Child in the Chocolate Factory as Willy Wanker's Toy Shop, so onto the community page it went, thank you to everyone who replied. I didn't just limit this to old people though, I wanted misnamed movies from everyone. My girlfriend's younger than me, and genuinely thought for the longest time because of this poster, the film Little Nicky was actually called Devilishly Funny. So, let's get into it. My little sister I used to call Final Destination, Last Summer Vacation. My mum calls Kung Fu Panda, Bamboo Panda Man. Finally, one I can answer to, when I was like seven, my grandma said she was taking me to see Racket Wrath. I was so confused and a little scared because I was convinced she was taking me to some tennis-based psychological horror film. She meant Wreck-It Ralph. My grandfather once referred to Bionicle the Mask of Light as Bionic Ankles. I heard a woman on my street describe Shrek as that one movie about Frankenstein and his pony. My mum calls Lethal Weapon a Leather Weather. My grandma has always been unable to remember the name of the Croods. Some names include the Grogs, the Crods, the Groogs and the Grods. Edit. Almost forgot the Glogs and the Glugs. My great-grandmother once called the Minions movie Mini Onions. Sonic the Hedgehog somehow became Bionic Sled Dog. Due to an unfortunate game of charades with my grandmother, the movie Full Metal Jacket is forever known as Tiny Jar of Death. My mate's sister confused the hell out of her by asking about Neil after watching The Matrix. Name. Is Neil! When I was 11, I somehow got it in my head that a certain movie was called Aston Martin and started googling the name. I was so frustrated that nothing ever came up. The movie I was looking for was Austin Powers. My granddad once called it Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azerbaijan. When Spider-Man No Way Home first came out, I went to go see it. On my way into the theatre, I saw Grandma drop off some little kids and she told them to enjoy their Homeless Bug Boy movie. My grandma called A Wrinkle in Time as A Tinkle in the Wind. My entire family calls almost every film by the name, oh you know, the one with the actor. Once saw my friend's mum ask if he wanted to go see the Chewy Dwayne movie, which was actually the new Jumanji movie. My aunt once called Toy Story, Cowboy Tales. I couldn't remember for the name of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs once and was talking to my boyfriend and described it as oh, that film with the machine and the giant hot dogs and the mayor that was the size of a transit van and he just stared at me like what the fuck. My dad was trying to name Turning Red and we were on a call and he said oh isn't that from Going Brown or something. My friend once called Ferris Bueller's Day Off Brendan Fraser's day off, and the idea of that film still haunts me. My grandma thought Lego Batman was called Let Go of Batman, and insisted that it would be too sad to enjoy. Jeeps and lemurs, or more commonly known as Jeepers Creepers. My grandpa refers to the Shawshank Redemption as the Crankshaft Connection. We'll never forget the time my friend referred to Silence of the Lambs as the Quiet Sheep. Skull emoji! My grandma has several times referred to How to Train Your Dragon as How to Ride a Demon. I've heard someone called Panic room a high anxiety house. My grandfather, who smoked a bit too much weed back in the 60s, once referred to Indiana Jones as Alabama James. My uncle was always confused about why I wanted to watch Missionary Impossible. My mum once described Lord of the Rings as the film with big ears. After some questioning, it turned out she'd got confused between Gandalf and big ears from Noddy. One time my grandma was trying to remember the movie Hocus Pocus and called it Hooker Ponker. My family loves Pirates of the Caribbean and we've watched the films for years. Despite that, my mother forgets the names and refers to it as the Bada Bum Bum Bada Bum Bum Bada Bum 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 movie. My grandmother refers to all action movies as shoot 'em up bang bangs, even the ones without guns. My mum once called Despicable Me as a despicable uncle. So when she said, wanna see a despicable uncle, I just stared into her eyes, trying to decipher what the hell she meant. I had a friend who asked me about a movie where a guy lived in a straw. Turns out he was talking about the opening to the James Bond movies. He thought the gun barrel was a straw. To be fair, if I actually thought that, I'd definitely ask my friend about it. I can't think of many fates worse than being condemned to live in a straw. Then maybe you shouldn't be living here! Anyway, what makes it worse is that we were in high school. Right, wake up, we're shifting gears. It's time for you, the viewer, to do a bit of work. Quick quiz. I'm gonna show you 10 misnamed movie titles. You shout out what films you think they pertain to. These will be coming at you quite fast. Good luck. Missing in a minute. <coughs> Detective Fish. <coughs> a bunch of people decide to go move to New York inside food. The guy with the face. Fat 
ghost and future boy. Chin, or something with teeth. The fucking rat version of MasterChef. You know those little creatures that sing and there's cola that goes bankrupt but makes his money back somehow. Also it has famous people that voice the creatures. <coughs> and last one. Emojis. How did you get on? Do let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's end by looking at some misnamed TV shows and video games. Not a movie, but my mum once described Avatar The Last Airbender as Ang and the Gang. A few weeks ago, I was watching The Simpsons, and my mum came in and said, Can you stop watching the Snoop Dogs for a second? My dad and I were discussing Breaking Bad. My grandma asked, Is that the movie about the man who makes marijuana in a trailer? My grandma just called Shit's Creek David. Like it's an artsy biopic about somebody named David. I'll never forget the time my dad called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Jimbo's Whack Ass Journey watching Stranger Things with my grandma and she said come on let's watch The Strangest Kids like it was some kind of crappy YouTube top 10 video. Ooh what is going on guys? They were looking at the top 10 strangest kids and I gotta warn you some of these kids are so freaking strange guys The show's on telly again Grace and Natalie. It was Grey's Anatomy. Not a movie but my dad used to call Spongebob Yellow Cheese God. We still to this day have no clue where he got yellow cheese god from. Spongebob, a frequently misnamed show in the comments. Alternatives included Spongebot, Spongebag, Spankbob, Flattop Bob, Bonzo, Spongeboob Square Bitch, Spongequab, and Brushbob Circle Pants. Not a movie, but one time my dad called Among Us, Stand Beside Me. My grandma calls Five Nights at Freddy's Fast Freddy and the Petting Zoo. My family calls Splatoon Squid Squad, because none of us can ever remember what it's called. Once my mum referred Minecraft, as surviving the cube world. Not a movie, but my mum once described you as that British guy who reads because she forgot your name. I instantly understood she was talking about you. Hello, Skipple Fritz's mum from That British Guy who reads? Anyway, probably got time for just one more. Not a movie name, but my grandfather once called the McDonald's Big and Tasty Burg. I don't even think it is called a Big and Tasty Burg, whereas I think it's just called a Big Tasty. Uh, there we go. The Hot and Nasty. 